This is the year. This is the year that you need to prove to yourself, not to anybody else, not to anybody, you know, your family, F that, right? This is the year that you got to prove it to yourself that you can accomplish more than what you did last year. Why though? Because there's always going to be a next level for you, okay? And just because you was at this point here doesn't mean that you have to stay here. There's other levels that you can achieve, but you have to choose that yourself. No one can do it for you, okay? One thing that you're gonna learn in life is that you cannot skip the work. There is no shortcut to having to put the work in. You just have to do it, right? You wanna become a developer. You wanna learn something new. You wanna work on your body. You wanna educate yourself. Whatever it is that you want to do, this is the year for you. We're almost about to get into 2024, but it's never too late. There's a lot of things that you can set up right now for you to start getting to your goals by next year. By next summer, you could be good, right? Show people what you're made of, man. You get what I'm saying? It's time for you to flex up. It's time for you to move up in this world. <laughs> straight up there's nothing stopping you other than yourself but you have to go in and look at yourself in the mirror and say am i happy where i'm at right now am i happy doing what i've been doing all of these years i mean we all mess up right we all fuck up right you fucked up in junior high school you fucked up in high school shoot maybe you didn't even go to college but shit you lived your life you enjoyed it now is a point where you go in and you say well okay cool I got a bullshit job, I got a bullshit house, right? I got a bullshit car, but I'm not supposed to be here. <laughs> I'm not supposed to be here. I'm supposed to be up there with the greats, but you have to make sure that you put in the work. You know, my channel is about development, right? Sometimes you'll find other channels that is about plumbing or AC, HVAC, or, you know, truck driving or, you know, drop shipping or whatever you're into. Just go for it, okay? Go for it. There's a lot of people out here giving wisdom, giving gems. Whatever it is that you want to do and that you want to accomplish, go for it. Nothing is stopping you. And you might say, well, yo, I'm limited. My funds is limited. I want to take this course or I want to sign up to this or I want to buy a new computer or I want to go in and buy a truck or I want to go in and buy a car. I want to go in and buy a house or I want to do this, this and that for investment. Guess what? You got to start somewhere. You can't be broke. You go in and figure out odd jobs. Hey, Postmates hiring. You got a bicycle? Go, go get that bicycle. Go get yourself a little bit of money so you could go in, invest in yourself, and then you could continue to grow, okay? You got, I don't know, a car, right? Put that shit to work. Put that shit on Toro. Put that shit on Uber. Put that shit on, on Lyft. Go in and put that shit to work for you. Whatever it is that you have to do to get to your goals, you just got to do it. You can't wait for nobody else to come give you a hand because people are not going to help you out. We live in this society where it's mostly the crap mentality every time that you're trying to go up people will go in and, and clip your wings <laughs> straight up that's how it is no one wants to see the other person do better than them and no one wants to see them at the same level as them everybody wants to be above the next person so when you ask for help they're not gonna give it to you when you ask for an opinion or an advice or you know just for somebody to to think about hey man can i do this they're always gonna say nah you can't <laughs> Nah, you can't, bro. That's a dream. That's a pipe dream. You becoming a developer? Shoot, that's a pipe dream, man. I got a job for you at Walmart. I got a job for you at this, this, and that. Go go work over here, this, this, and that, right? They'll tell you every little bullshit in every single way that you're going to fail. But no one goes in and tells you, you know what? There's a way to succeed, right? I've seen it. I've seen it from family members. I've seen it from, you know, random people that you know you go and tell them hey i'm gonna open up a business and they're like man that shit's not gonna work bro man i'm gonna open up a restaurant yo bro i don't think it's gonna work you, you know how many restaurants close down all the time right man I'm, I'm about to start studying to code man there's no jobs man ai is coming for you that shit's not gonna be here by next year you know how many people they come up with some bullshit to so come in and, and, and discredit your dream or your goals or whatever you want to accomplish. There's always somebody going in and, and stepping on it. Now, it's up to you if you're going to listen to them. Someone like me, I ain't listening to nobody. I do what I do and I does what I does. Because I put the bag in the bag because the bag, it's the motherfucking bag. I'm here for my bag. You get what I'm saying? So, <laughs> at the end of the day, 
you gotta do your own thing man and you gotta put in the work ain't no way around it right but you cannot go in and listen to what other people's gonna tell you what you could accomplish right you know what you made of you know what you can do you know that if you put your mind into something you could get that shit done so it's up to you to put in the work there's no way to skip it and when you want to do something just go for it even if you fail when you fail you learn something right there's times that we are so scared to fail and scared to take risk that sometimes we go in and, and we don't do shit because of that right we're like nah i could fail so what you fail you learn something you learn the right way i took the right but guess what i was supposed to take a left here now i know that for the next time you get what i'm saying it's okay to fail but if you are over here in your house thinking about something that you want to do something you want to accomplish and you're still on the fence of it like just go for it i just want to give you guys a little wisdom right a little wisdom a little motivation for today right nothing crazy you know yesterday i was you know in a twitter space and i was telling my story of how i started to learn how to code when i was 14 and you know i learned because i built the dragon ball z website and you know just it's funny right and how i got into the game you know later on 20 basically 10 years after right at 24 I was still living with my moms and, and stuff like that. And then I had quit my job. And I was going to do it for a whole year, uh, learning how to code at home and this, this, and that. I gave the, the whole spiel. And I was like thinking to myself, I was like, at any moment, I could have quit. There was a lot of shit that was stopping me from becoming a developer, right? There was a lot, right? I mean, but I didn't. Telling people my story just made me realize, because even to this day, there's difficulties that that you go through like life is not perfect i mean right now you know i'm i'm with my family but there's things that fucking i don't went through this year that i haven't even gotten deep into it you know what i mean almost lost my home freaking that i worked so hard hurricane almost destroyed everything insurance doesn't want to pay uh freaking use so much out of my savings things that i had to go in and basically rebuild my own house it's like hey I, you got a mortgage but then you gotta rebuild your house again <laughs> it's like i, I could have bought another house right but i had to rebuild this thing hopefully the insurance after we go to court pays my money back and and this this and that like there was so much shit that i went through this year so even after you so-called make it, you're still going to bump into difficulties. But it's not about what's happening. It's how you get through it that makes you stronger, right? You're going to get through it. Sometimes we're like this. You know, once we have problems, it's like we're seeing our life like this. In this little hole, this little tunnel, and everything is just dark around it. But there's a little light at the end of the tunnel. Once you get there, you got there. Hey, party, everybody popping bottles and everybody asking, yo, how you did it? I just had to go through it. That's just how it is. I could have give up right there and that's it. But now nah, you got to go through it. That's just how life is. And, you know, if you want to get something done and you want to do it for yourself, like, go for it, man. You know, don't be scared, you know, and, and, and just go for it. I'm telling you guys right now. Everything that's that's hard, right? One thing that I noticed is like it's worth a lot. The shit that's easy that you could get right away, you don't even pay no mind to it, right? It's not worth anything, right? But when something is difficult to acquire, something is difficult to achieve, it's always worth something more than the easy. So if you're going through it right now, or like I said, you're trying to achieve becoming a developer, understand that there's a reason why you're going through the situation. There's a reason why this thing is difficult to achieve. That, you know, there's a bunch of jobs out there, but for some reason, they're not calling you. What you need to do is continue tweaking your portfolio, continue tweaking your skills, still add more things, look into other avenues within the tech industry. You're gonna get to the dream job that you want, but guess what? Life put it in a way where it's gonna be a little bit harder for you. That's fine. When you get there, it's going to taste even better, right? It's going to feel even better for you. And even after you achieve that, you're still going to go through struggles and, and problems that's going to come up, right? Because that's just how life is. And it's about surviving it and getting to the other side instead of being, you know, a little bitch and just bitch about it. And be like, man, I don't get this. Why nobody? 
nah you just gotta get through it you know i myself i'm, I'm constantly you know <laughs> thinking i'm like damn why this shit always happens to me why every time that i'm up something pulls me back down why does this shit always have to be so difficult but one thing that i noticed from my income from the traffic on my website to you know every job that i've had every time that i hit a point i come back down and it's like the stock market when i come back down just a little bit that means i'm about to go all the way fucking up when i'm going through some shit, it just lets me know oh the big bag is coming i gotta go through this shit so i could survive this and get to the next point that's just how life is it's a roller coaster they always say that shit. Until you live through it, then you're going to understand, yeah, this shit is a roller coaster. Everybody goes up and down. But it's not about how up you go. It's how you survive when you come back down. And then from there, come back up harder. You know what I'm saying? So, guys, listen, it's your boy, Joe. Back at it again, CodingFace.com. I just wanted to give you guys a little motivation today. You know, sometimes we go through shit and we all going through things. We just have to, you know, understand that we're going to get through it. And understand that when we want to get something done, we're going to get something done. Because that shit is meant for us. But we have to put in the work. No one else is going to do it for us. All right, guys. Listen, man. You already know. It's your boy, Joe. Back at it again. CodingFace.com. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. Um, guys, definitely go into... Uh, the link in the description um book a call with me if you're here in the us this is for us students only right um join the tech accelerator let me help you guys out get into the tech industry I'll get you started get you in the game right if you've been doing this on your own getting help is not gonna hurt you getting help is gonna go in and give you that shortcut so you don't have to make those mistakes that most people make it's always good to have a mentor it's always good to have a coach it's always good to have someone to hold your hand and guide you through this process especially someone that's been in your situation that already been through it and understand how this industry works right so come to your boy um and again 20 percent off on codingphase.com if you want to sign up directly or you want to take any of the courses that we have there definitely go check it out best way to support your boy is for allowing me to help you out right always give me a job i don't want no super chat i don't want no donation i don't want somebody coming in and, and leaving you know here's two dollars for a coffee nah let me work for it let me work with you and then from there that's it i earn my bread i don't want to owe nothing to nobody i don't want nobody to say damn i gave this guy a super chat i don't need your super chat put me to work let me work for you okay it's your boy joe back at it again codingphase.com your boy's back and i did it again Peace.